India's economic growth numbers adjusted for the base year of 2012 show that the expansion was marginally higher under the Congress period. The new series is after the economic picked up the pace in physical year of 2004 and generally the lower in preceding years. The numbers have been calculated by the committee set by the National Statistical Commission of India and the former chief statistician Pranab Sen said that the exercise was a good start but that more work was needed. The report shows the real GDP growth touching a high of 10.08% in 2006-2007 in terms of factor cost, the highest since the liberalization of the economy in 1991 and the second highest ever behind 10.2 during the Rajiv Gandhi administration in 1988-89. Under the World Series growth in 2006-07 was 9.57. In terms of market prices, the growth rate was 10.78 in 2010 and 2011. The new GDP series of the physical year of 2012 as the base year was begun in 2015 and follows internationally accepted methods based on their market prices as opposed to the factor cost. The method followed earlier and uses corporate numbers to estimate the manufacturing output. The committee has issued the adjusted numbers for 1994 to 2014 period. I won't read the table, but I point out the averages. NDA1 average was 5.68%. UPA1 average was 8.36%. UPA2 average was 7.68%. And NDA2 so far the average is 7.33%. The average growth in the first five-year term of Congress-led United Progress Alliance or the UPA in the physical year of 2005 to 2009 goes up under the new series to 8.37 from 8.03% earlier in the terms of market prices. In terms of factor cost, the increase is from 8.43 to 8.87 percentage average growth during the preceding Bharati Janata Party led by the National Democratic Alliance Administration is down marginally from 5.89% to 5.73%. In terms of factor cost, the decline was from 6.01% to 5.83%. In the first three years of UPA's two of the Congress period in physical year of 2010 and 2012, the average growth rate goes up from 8.46 to 8.86 percentage. In terms of factor cost, the revision is from above 8.06 percentage to 8.49 percentage. The growth data based on the old series available till physical year of 2012, while the revised series is still the physical year of 2014. The Congress party said that the growth numbers were better under UPA. It proves that like for like, the economic growth under both the UPA terms of 10 years of average is 8.1%. It's clearly outperformed Modi government with an average of 7.3% that party's official handed Twitter tweeted. The UPA also delivered the only instance of double digit annual growth in modern Indian history. So what do you think of the Mammoth growth under the Manmohan Singh as the Prime Minister and under the Congress period, which has never been done by a good economic preceded government in its history of India, while the Modi government by led by India, which is clearly showing an undevelopment of India's growth in its economy and will not happen anytime soon or will never happen during the Modi's period with a great economic growth. And this is the real truth that Modi will not be re-elected or he is losing so much fast in India's pace of growing economy and his political leadership. Please post your comments below and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching, this is WC Daily. Think big, think different. Bye.